Okay, can, if I can have your attention, please. Um, I'd like to thank, once again, Slick back for the awesome meal today. Um, he always does a good job. Um, so in December, we had the Christmas gala, um, and we had uh, one of the largest galas that we've ever had. It was a, it was a great event, um, and we had lots of award winners, and we were showing some of the award winners on our presentation. Um, January's business in the spotlight was the Bevel Brothers Funeral Home. Um, we're highlighting uh, every month, we're highlighting a different member of the Chamber of Commerce. We're selecting them alphabetically, so uh, they're also being featured on our Facebook page and on our newsletter. Next month, we will be recognizing our first quarter Chamber of Excellence Award. Um, if you have any nominations for uh, that first quarter excellence award um, contact Judy at the chamber at ohiocounty.com um, we're getting ready to kick off our 2013 next generation leadership class it begins in, in February we're gonna have we have about 43 juniors and seniors enrolled from the Ohio High School this year's curriculum will be um, high school students are going to teach uh, grade school kids about um, about mm -hmm. JV activities and things that, um, like uh, business and um, personal financial wellness. So uh, it's called High School Heroes. <clears throat> uh, if you have any um, any uh, urge to be able to volunteer, uh, we are taking volunteers because we'll be teaching the JV and the high school. Uh, I'm sorry, we're we teaching, were we teaching JV uh, or junior achievement to the juniors and seniors at the high school and then they'll go out to all the, um, high, the grade schools and teach them. So it's going to be really great and then we'll have a, a tour of some facilities in Ohio County to um, kind of show off the juniors and seniors um, what's available in Ohio County because I think that's always important for us to to showcase because um, there's a lot of there's a lot of hidden gems in Ohio County that people don't realize that we have in Ohio County so it's great um, we have some door prizes that we'd like to give away um, we have two tickets to ca uh, casting crown casting crowns okay concert um, provided by the Beaverdam tourism and we have two from our sponsor um, so I'm gonna if you have your Tickets. I'll. The first one is eight eight seven five five seven. All right. You, I guess you want the cash and crowns, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have a little document for you. And then the, the next two. Eight eight seven five six one. Yeah. Okay. Right. And then eight eight seven. Five five zero. Oh, okay, great. Okay. I have right. a couple of gift cards. I have them with me for you. All Provided right. By Perfect Day Bank. Yes, thank you all for for donating those and the Beaver and Tourism for donating the tickets. All right, so now time for our speaker. Um, our speaker is uh, Judge Executive David Johnson. He does a State of the Union every year. Um, that I, that I can remember, uh, it's been a long time, and I'm sure he'll tell you how many years he's done it, but he doesn't need any kind of um, uh, announcements or anything because everyone knows who he is, but um, so David Johnson. Thank you. Uh, and uh, like Josh said, I've been here for several. I want to thank the uh, uh, Chamber for having this today and for all of you for coming. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's hard to believe, but this is the 13th State of the County Address I've given to the, to the Chamber. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to try to bore you with a whole lot. I'm kind of focusing in on economic development today. It's sort of the theme. And uh, uh, we're making great strides in economic growth in the county. 
The new distillery is the best known addition. Ohio County Fiscal Court invested highly in this project. This is the largest investment in a new industry since Purdue in the 90s. So we, we have a lot at stake on this and we're pretty sure it's gonna pay off. Many other dishes have been made as well. Uh, a new factory in Fordsville will make pellets for grills and for heating. WPT has expanded as well as their neighbor, ICAST, out on uh, uh, Goshen Road, and many others as well. Uh, this growth is in part can be attributed to OCEDA, which started my first term by fiscal court by a slim majority. Uh, I'll tell you just a little bit about that. That was supposed to be my uh, political death is when we did that. I was told <coughs> that by many. Uh, well, uh, three, three times since then I've been elected, so I don't think that did. Uh, but uh, we think that's a great deal of why we've been so successful. Jason Chen is now the new executive director, and he and OC the board have many things in the works which you will hear about. After uh, many years and efforts, as many of you know, we have two interstate highways to the county now. And we always was one and one, and we now have both. This is great for industry as well as for uh, tourism. Um, the employment opportunities in our county is great. The opportunities are good paying jobs competitive with any area around us. So there's no reason for anybody to leave here and go to work now. There's jobs right here in the county that, like I say, are competitive. Uh, you've said for, you've heard me say for the last two years that I was tired of talking about roads and I want to change the conversation, but that still seems to be a thing with many. So talk about just a little bit. We have done many improvements to our roads and bridges. We continually uh, spend on improvements at uh, enormous amounts we spend on our roads and bridges. Then the one thing that we've done recently, we've equipped our road department to take care of uh, take care of our roads. We give them everything you can imagine in new equipment. Uh, big long reach excavator, a smaller excavator, a bulldozer, a brand new one, and a, a, a new tractor trailer truck and a low boy to pull this stuff around on so we don't run it up down the road. Uh, tourism is on the rise in our county. The Bill Monroe Museum sees guests from all over the country and all over the world. The Bluegrass Festival is growing each year, and we plan new and exciting things to come from there. Uh, many good things are happening at the park as well to bring in tourists to the county. So tourism is still really big in the county. Uh, I want to open it up for some questions, but before you do, I have more questions myself than answers about our internet that's coming. I know we're a year into it, to the five years that the state guaranteed everyone in the county to have, everybody in the state actually, but everybody in this county as well to have uh, internet. So if that's true, that'll be everybody have it within four years from now. And many are, and you see a lot of infrastructure work on it. You see power lines being held, I mean, uh, put on poles. On the power line post, you see our lines for the internet, and you see survey crews out working all the time. So it's happening. We're just trying to go and try to get some answers on exactly when and what areas will be taken care of first. We know that some do have it. But I so much appreciate the chamber and appreciate all of you. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve you this long. Uh, it is a record number of terms for anybody to ever hold in this office since the county was started in 1798. So uh, I'm not prideful of that, but uh, I'm grateful for that, that I have that distinction. But I do want to ask if anybody's got any questions for me about county government or bluegrass music or anything. <laughs> What's the status on the new jail? Okay, I'm glad you asked that. Uh, of course, 
it started the long process of getting the interlocal agreement drawn, drawn up between the three counties. That seemed to take a long, long time. That was, that was completed. Then we appointed the board, each county. Our county got to appoint three members, the other two county, two each, because we're the largest county. Once the jail is located, the jail where, it's, uh, where the jail is located, that county will have three, and the other two counties will have two each represented. That board's in place. And I expect within the next few weeks, the location will be announced. Then the easy part, We've got to go find the money. Uh, uh, we need to we need to get at least half of it in federal and state funding for us to finance the other the balance of it. We're looking at in the twenty five million dollar range. Uh, which one thing I didn't read there while I go speaking of that many million dollars, you know we're near completion on a thirty million dollar project at the hospital, which will have the new surgical deal. And I, I meant to include that in the economic development because that's create many high paying jobs with the new surgical wing at the hospital. But uh, the, the jail, I think, will be complete within this term of my having this office. Uh, anybody else got anything for me? Yes, ma'am. Um, I don't know if this is the right place to ask the question, but regarding the hospital with the expansion, um, is that going to allow for an obstetrics ward? I am. They're, they're not committed to that at all, but I will tell you this. They never meet with me that they don't hear about that. Okay. And the dialysis as well. Okay. Those are things that lose money. Uh, and, and oncology, they have promised me that. Uh -huh. That they'll do oncology, which used to happen with drop it. Used to have obstetrics and we dropped it. Okay. So... It's hard for small uh, county, small community hospitals to survive, and ours has. It's doing well. But my argument to them then, with the surgical wing, you're going to make your money there. Now come back and give these services that don't make money, that lose. Obstetrics and, and dialysis and, and oncology, those are money losers for a hospital. But with the money being made in surgical wing, I'm really pushing that they bring some of those services back. But the only one they've committed to me to do was on college. Okay. And then I'm not from here, so I have no idea what OC there is. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I said, Jason right over here with the pretty vest on, he's the, uh, he's the director of it. I was going to say the color, but I couldn't. Can you at least just tell me what OC this stands for? Okay. Ohio County Economic Development Alliance. Not authority. Whew, I got it right, didn't I? Uh, sometimes it's hard to remember all these acronyms and what they exactly stand for. Oh, thank you. Of course, another big one we're proud of is our arts program, which is a reentry program for people uh, that's getting out of prison to try to give them the tools to succeed instead of the uh, path to fail like it's always been. And, and it's actually working. We're a year and two months into it. And it's showing a lots of a lots of promise, and we funded that with the uh, ARPA money that comes to the county, and it's funded for four years, and then we're thinking that uh, things like the opioid settlement and other things will put a few more years into the funding of it. So, thanks for the question. Anybody else got anything? Yeah. All right. Well, appreciate it so much, and. Uh, Hopefully, I'll get to do this again next year, and I'll talk about something different. I've decided not to, to shoot the whole shotgun about everything that we've done and are doing in one talk, but try to try to just focus in on one thing. Economic development was the thing today. Thank you. I do want to... Uh, just take a, a couple of seconds to talk about the any guests that we may have here and also uh, political uh, figures or elected officials. We have, I know we have Bo, we have um, Adam Wright, uh, Mayor of Hartford and our new Sheriff, Paul Sandifer, uh, Beaverdam Mayor, um, 
anyone else? I'm sorry. And Judd Executive, obviously. Um, and Jason, who's not elected, but just retired, but he was a PBA, and now he's the Executive Director for OCEDA. Um, I guess that's it. Um, so, anyways, um, I think that's all we have. Does anybody have any announcements they'd like to tell the group? If not, we'll adjourn and we'll have our next uh, next meeting the third Tuesday of February. Thank you for coming.